derived elastic equation of torsion that is t by j is g theta by l is tau max by r and this equation is limited to homogeneous and isotropic material that is shaft shaft material is homogeneous and isotropic uniform cross section cross section of the shaft is uniform and subjected to single torque but in practical situation there may be a compound shaft which is made of different materials say here ac is made of a material whose shear modulus is g1 and shear modulus for cb is g2 diameter of ab is d1 whereas diameter of cb is d2 and the compound shaft is subjected to two twisting moments t1 and t2 so in practical shafts may be subjected to multiple torques and there may be abrupt changes in diameter there is abrupt changes in diameter d2 to d1 so in such situation how to calculate the angle of twist at free end b in such situation what we will do we will divide the shaft into parts such that the limitations of equation of torsion that is these limitations are satisfied so first of all we will divide this compound shaft into parts here there are we will divide it into two parts so first of all let us draw the free body diagram of the entire shaft that is sorry so here this is t1 this is t2 so reaction torque will be t1 plus t2 now to satisfy the limitations of equation of torsion we shall divide the shaft into parts and here there will be two parts one is a to c another one is another one is c to b here it is c to b now torque on c to b is t1 and t1 whereas for this part torque is t1 plus t2 and here also t1 plus t2 so this is the free body diagram of two parts this is c to b now the total angle of twist at free end b total angle of twist at free end b will be the algebraic sum of of the two parts that is theta b theta b is the algebraic sum t i a i g i j i algebraic sum of two parts so theta is t l by g j so for this one say this is diameter of this shaft is t1 and diameter of this shaft is t2 and say length is l1 length is l1 
and for this length is L2. Now what is theta AC? Theta AC, theta AC is T1 plus T2 L1 G1 J1 that is T1 plus T2 L1 G1 pi by 32 D1 to the power 4 and theta CB that is for the second part is T1 L2 G2 J2 that is T1 L2 G2 pi by 32 D2 to the power 4. Now theta B that is angle of twist at free end B is T i L i G i J i is nothing but theta A C plus theta C B which is what T1 plus T2 L1 G1 pi by 32 D1 to the power 4 plus T1 L2 G2 pi by 32 D2 to the power 4. So this is the expression for angle of twist at free end B. Now let us come to another situation. Shafts with variable cross section. So this is one tapered shaft. The diameter at fixed end is 2D and at free end is D. Now it is subjected to a torsional moment T and what will be the angle of twist at free end B. Say this fixed end is A and free end is B. So what will be theta B? Now this is not uniform cross section. So we do not, we cannot apply equation of torsion directly. So what to do at such situation? We will take one small elemental disc, elemental disc of thickness dx and which is at distance x from the fixed end. So this is the elemental disc. As this length of the element is so small such that we can consider diameter within this element does not vary. And what will be the diameter? Say what will be the diameter? Say this tapered half tapered angle this is the half tapered angle is alpha. Half tapered angle is alpha. Then what is tan of alpha? Tan of alpha is tan of alpha is d by 2 by l. Length of the taper shaft is l that is d by 2 l. So what is the diameter of the element? What is the diameter of the element? Diameter of the element say d prime. d prime is 2d minus 2x tan alpha. That is 2d minus 2x d by 2l. That is 2d minus d by l into x d by l into x and this d prime is constant because dx that is length is so small that is we can consider the diameter of the element is constant. So for this for this disc element this is the disc element we can apply the elastic equation of torsion because the disc element having a uniform 
cross section because d prime doesn't vary within this small length dx so elemental angle of twist is what t dx by gj and total angle of twist is what integral 0 to l t dx gj that is theta is integral 0 to l t dx g pi by 32 d prime to the power 4. So the total angle of twist total angle of twist at free end b can be also denoted by theta b. So theta here can be replaced by theta b. So the expression of theta b will be what? That is theta b is integral 0 to l t dx g pi by 32 d prime to the power 4. So now let us put the values of value of d prime that is 0 to l t dx g pi by 32 d prime is 2d minus 2d minus d by l into x to the power 4. Now say say 2d minus d by l into x is z. Let us consider this is is z that is minus dl dx is dz. Now replace dx by dz. So theta b total angle of twist is when x is 0 z will be what? z will be 2d. When x is l z is small d. So t minus minus l by dz if this then dx is minus l by d into dz from this to this so minus l by d dz g pi by 32 z to the power 4 so theta b theta b is t l minus t l or rather minus 32 t l g pi d integral 2 d to d dz z to the power 4. Now what will be theta b? Let us calculate theta b is minus 32 t l t to t l g pi d g pi d z to the power minus 4 plus 1 minus 4 plus 1 and limit is 2 d to small that is minus theta b is minus 32 t l g pi d z to the power minus 3 minus 3 2 d 2 d that is 32 t l 3 pi d 3 g pi d 3 g pi d 1 by d cube minus 1 by 2 d cube that is theta b so theta b becomes 32 t l 3 g pi d into 8 d cube into 7 so this this becomes 4 that is 
28TL 28TL 3G pi d to the power 4. So expression of theta b that is angle of twist at free end b is 28TL 28TL 3G pi d to the power 4. So this is the expression for for angle of twist at free end for the taper shaft. 